I'm glad he's gone. We're talking, there's a lot of stuff online right now about pedophiles. And I came across this article, news article. And it it's ran just a few months ago, actually, that this happened. And I just, you know, there's, there's a lot of stories out there that were years ago and everything. But I want to bring it bring this to light because the stuff is still happening and it's happening on a big scale in Indonesia there is a six there was a 65 year old man a French man who uh, went to Indonesia many times and he would go there and he would pose as a scout of some sort for models and he would find homeless or starving kids and he would take them back to a hotel. He did this for years and didn't get caught. He would take pictures of them and then he would make sexual advance, advances. The kids, he was paying them, it sounds like a lot, it's like 250k to a million rupa. Now, I think I'm saying that right. but. In terms of dollars, it's like anywhere from 17 to $70 for the modeling sessions, and then he would make sexual advances. The kids that had, that refused or didn't want to have sex with him, he would then physically assault, beat up. Oh, he was there in Indonesia. He had two kids in the hotel room. Somebody reported him because they said he was suspicious. <sighs> I hate these mofos. Oh, it makes me so mad. They caught him. One child was completely undressed when they went in, when the authorities went in. And the other child was half undressed. On his, on his computer, now this guy did not cooperate. Like he wasn't giving up his password and he wasn't giving up anything. He wasn't like he got caught in the act and he just was refusing, right? On his laptop, they found images and videos of like over, it was around 305, over 300. I think it was 305 different victims of children and the, the children's ages were anywhere from 10 to 17. I think they've only identified like around 17 of these kids and this is over a five-year span. So he was arrested back in July when this happened. He goes to jail. He's He gets paraded in front of the press. He just stands there. Um, three days later the a guard found him in his cell and he had killed himself. The guard found him with wire around his neck and they had a neck fracture. I don't know where he got the wire. I don't know if he was, I don't know. If I was the guard, oh, that would be hard. Like even if he didn't want to kill himself, uh, maybe it pushed him to or helped him. I don't know. It sounds kind of iffy because I don't know where he would have gotten the wire, but I don't know what the difference between um, the gel situation in the US versus Indonesia, but they are calling for any victims that might have been part of this to come forward so that they can complete, make sure everybody's okay. But they're also saying Indonesia has a lot of men. I don't, I mean, I don't know if. Cause you don't have to be a man to be a pedophile. I haven't heard too many stories about women, but I'm sure there are. But they said that they just have a lot of people that come and prey on their the children in Indonesia. And I just thought, this is so sad. I think that people need to realize not all these stories are just years ago. They're happening right now. This was this they just caught this man a few months ago. I'm not sad that he's gone. I wish that he could have stood trial for all those individuals once they found them all. I, I'm sad that those kids would not be able to uh, make sure that they have the last word in it, I guess, if they wanted it. If they wanted to face him and they wanted to say, 
I'm glad you're going away. You shouldn't have done these things or whatever they need to get closure on their end if that's the way that they wanted to do it. I'm gonna get flagged for this because it's not very Christian. It's not very Christian what I'm gonna say and I know it. Okay, let's just put that out there. I know this isn't a Christian way to do things, but <laughs> hear me out. I'm not sad he's gone, but kind of wish that he would have stayed in jail and I, I pretty sure their system is like our system in which you go into jail and you've hurt children you're gonna get hurt every day I mean every day in our jails they just don't you don't children are off limits you don't hurt them like that that's just not how what you do I kind of wish he would have suffered more because he he's traumatized these kids and I don't know if these kids had multiple people that traumatized them or what I kind of wish he was traumatized a little bit more as opposed to taking the easy way out where you got caught three days after you get caught, you, you're dead. I kind of wish he was raped a few times in jail. And I know that's not Christian, and I know that's not right, but for all the damage, over 300 kids, are you kidding me? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And the, the creepy thing is not only that it did he, I mean, it's all creepy, not only did he pick up these kids and he tell them he's taking pictures of them and then, you know, make advances and if they said no, he would beat them. But he actually hid a camera in the rooms and he would videotape the interactions, the beatings, the, the sex, the photography, all of it. And that that's those are the things that they found on the laptop. And... I'm grateful that they found him. I'm grateful that someone called and said this is this fish and you got to check him out because for five years, I mean, who knows if it went longer than that, but they know for sure the over 300 kids were in the five year span. That's crazy to me because that is a lot of kids, a lot of kids. Like, what is that? Hold on. Y'all, a kid every five to six days. Are you kidding me? What? He's a sick man. It is, it, it is sad. There is a small, there's a course um, that I, someone was telling me about. And I'll, if I find the link, I'll put it down below. There was a course on how to get involved, how to help. Um, I think it's supposed to like show where, what to look for, that sort of thing. And how to get involved. I'll, if I can find that, I will link that below. Um, I think somebody sent it to me. But I, I thought this was a, a story that needed to be heard. It needed to be told. Um, because I think, I know some things are coming up the front. But it's so recent. It's only a few months old. So you can know that it's it's legit happening. And... Um, I will put the guy's name below if you want to look up the story by yourself that's fine but I'm not going to say it in this video because because I don't want to glorify him at all um, but if you want to know more there's a lot of details right now that they're going through uh, I just giving you a quick overview you can look into it if more if you want I'm sure that they're I'm hoping that they put together something for the victims so that I can donate to if that I do find that out as well. I will link that below. Thanks for joining me. Um, if anything, even if you can't do anything, please send some prayers to these victims. Good thoughts, good wishes, whatever your faith allows you to do um, and your ability allows you to do. Please, please, please. These, I, I just, my heart is broken for these 300 kids. Like, Here's what I think. When people are like this and they hurt kids, it hurt innocence. There should be a no minimum. It should be automatically maximum. They should. You can't hurt the innocent and get away with it. That, that's a lifetime of torture and the lifetime to have to deal with your the consequences of somebody else's actions. And I just think, done. You're gonna mess with innocent little kids. You're done. I, and you can not say that that's not Christian. I don't care. I, I, I identify as a Christian and I, I believe in this thing. The natural woman in me is go, go to judgment day. I, I'm just going to help you 
help you not hurt anybody and I'm going to help you along to judgment day. And so it may, you may not feel like it's a Christian way of thinking, um, that they should suffer. Um, you may not think it's Christian that, that they should die, have a death penalty. You should get rid of these guys. That's okay. That's your prerogative. I'm okay with justifying those two. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Christians aren't perfect. That's how I feel. That's how I, I, <laughs> I justify my feelings, I guess. I don't know. But I, I don't think I'm going to change. Give you a taste of your own medicine. And let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.